Entity 8. Hounds. Aggressiveness, 4 out of 5. Hounds will actively attempt to track and kill any entity in their vicinity. They are unable to be reasoned with and will even attack each other sometimes. They will cooperate in some scenarios, however. Rarity, 2 out of 5. Hounds are commonly seen on levels with darker, dimly lit areas. Intelligence, 1 out of 5. These entities are extremely reckless and stubborn. Their only intelligence comes from the intensive ability to track other entities and their ability to collaborate. Priorita Index, 2.334 out of 5. The accordance with their extreme aggression and high adrenaline output, hounds are bathically stupid and often end up getting themselves killed from reckless decisions. The entity has many widely known weaknesses, but can be deadly in small packs. Description Entity 8, often referred to as a hound, is a canine entity with a black and patternless pelt, while standing on all four legs. A hound can be between 25 and 30 inches tall at the shoulders, and between 50 and 80 pounds. The entity features a sickeningly large mouth which stretches from ear to ear with 60 centered teeth. Hound's eyes are completely dark gray as they utilize their large pupils in the low light environment of the site. Due to the reckless behavior of the entity and frequent combat with other entities, the pelt of a hound is commonly torn, roughened up or and mainly blood, mated with blood. Be thankful if you encounter such a damaged hound. They are most likely one who lost the battle with the pack alpha and escaped with their life. Behaviors Hounds are extremely hostile toward any being, including their own kind. It is not uncommon that two hounds will fight as com- competition for food or mates. They can, however, find it in themselves to work together. In some circumstances, hounds will team up in packs of two to three to have a better chance at survival. It is also inferred that they will cooperate for the purpose of mating and reproduction. Hounds will actively track down prey from afar and are constantly searching for food. The entities have a natural instinct from birth that teaches them how to sniff out wanders or other entities nearby. When they locate their prey, hounds will lurk for a few seconds before attacking. They use their serrated teeth to tear off chunks of flesh of their target. It is widely known that a hound can be countered by intimidation. If a wanderer crosses the path with a hound, their first action should be to remain still. Assume a bold stance and stare into its eyes. If the hound is successfully forced into submission, it can be killed or fled from. In an attempt to stay hidden from most entities, hounds will hide in dark areas or move along them. The entities also hunt better in low light conditions. Hounds are located from more commonly on levels 3, 4, and 7. There are lots of dark areas and narrow spaces. Biology. The anatomy of a hound has been thoroughly examined by the archivist due to the entity's easy ability to be killed. The hounds have a thicker bone structure than average canines, as well as thicker skin to increase their endurance against the harsh challenges the site has to offer. In some instances, hounds have been found to have eyes that are just see no light conditions such as on level 7. In the brain, a hound has a complex hypothalamus that acts as a sleeper organ. It stores adrenaline until it enters a physically demanding situation. In such a scenario, the hypothalamus releases all sort of adrenaline for a prolonged burst of stamina in the entity. Due to this sleeper organ, 
aspects of hypothermalus in the hound is unable to internally release hormone blocking chemicals, making them susceptible to rapid and painful growth spurts. Discovery The exact origins of hound are unknown, and it is nearly impossible to trace their exact date of origin. The first documentation of a hound was a video taken in what is assumed to be level 1. The according details, a man approached a corner and is met by a hound only 5 yards away. The hound lurks m momentarily and the man reported turn and sprints away. The video cuts and we can assure the man was bald to death. Poor guy. Since the first documentation of the entity, wanderers have identified weaknesses in the hound and have developed tactics on how to easily kill them. Their in the intimidation tactic and the information on the key attacking points spread throughout the site, and eventually, hounds became a much easier entity to counter. Survival Guide Hounds are often in narrow or dimly lit areas, as they tend to hunt better and blend into such places. To avoid a run-in with a hound, clear out dark areas with flares or lanterns prior to advancing through them. However, as Amphor mentioned, hounds can be intimidated and forced into submission if engagement is admitted. This gives wanderers ample time to make an escape or kill the entity. Intimidate a hound. First, assure your bold stance. Push your chest out, broaden on your shoulders, and make yourself look big and tough. Then, maintain direct eye contact with the entity. If you are successful, the hound will lower its head or whimper and back away momentarily. Do note that this strategy will not work when the hounds are traveling in packs. If you have been spotted by a pack of hounds, you unfortunately have to resort to combat. It is worth mentioning that the intimidation tactic will not always work. In some cases, the hound's adrenaline releases has already kicked in, or the hound is traveling in a pack. In the event that this happens, your only choice is combat. The key areas are the nose and eyes. You should use a sharp weapon to stab at the eyes and a blunt weapon to damage the nose. This will render the hound unable to detect you and you will be able to kill it easily. If you can't successfully attack the key areas, it is advised to slash at parts of the hound that were already damaged prior to engagement. Never attempt to run away from a hound if it is attacking you. In any given scenario, it will outrun you. 